Lacrosse is my life. I've been playing since I could walk. I've built my life around it. My job, my academics, my friends, they're all due to lacrosse. And I'm sure for many others in this room, we all share a similar story as to how our sport plays a large part of our personality. And when we don't play well, the stressors of life, rigors of being a student athlete, and having to go to practice, class, lifts, and games, while still coming home to have to do laundry, homework, and even make a meal, make it seem like our world is crashing down on us. Now raise your hand if you've ever had a cold. Everyone, right? Now raise your hand if you've ever been injured. Same number of hands. So what's the, what do you do when you're sick or when you're hurt? You let someone know, right? And what do people usually say to you? Oh, I'm sorry, feel better, is there anything I can do to help you? Or they ask if you've seen a doctor or gotten medicine. Now raise your hand if you've ever experienced depression or anxiety. Similar number of hands. So what's stopping you from letting someone know that you're depressed? You know that if you're sick or if you're hurt, you can reach out to someone and count on them to see if you're all right. That same help is there and will always be there if you're depressed, but you just have to ask. There have been plenty of lectures, talks, and resources that we've all been educated on and exposed to on how to use when someone is depressed, feeling suicidal, or just anxious and overwhelmed. But it doesn't do anyone any good if no one says anything at all. How do you expect to recover from the flu or a broken foot if you don't go to the doctor or get a cast? Turning to numbers, 31% of NCAA male student athletes and 48% of female student athletes have reported symptoms of depression and anxiety within the last year. NCAA student athlete suicides are also on the rise. From January to June of 2022, there were seven suicides committed by NCAA student athletes, a number that could be easily reduced. It is important for coaches, players, and administrators to continue to support and uplift their players and also our teammates. There are a few signs that we can see when someone is depressed or anxious. A drop in play, participation, enthusiasm, and grades are all signs that are easily spotted that we have to be able to ask ourselves, our players, and our teammates if they're okay when we see these signs. Coaches and administrators can also help manage stress levels of student athletes on a macro level. Prioritizing the off day that allows student athletes to properly sleep, uh, recover physically, and also catch up on schoolwork is important. It's important to not bother our student athletes on this one off day with team requirements as it can just add to levels of stress on the maybe one day a week that we get off. Being a student athlete is hard. No one said that it would ever be easy, but there are plenty of things that we can all do to help make it easier. Talking to a player, talking to a coach, getting professional counseling, or getting medicine that can help combat the chemical imbalances that greatly affect symptoms of depression and anxiety are all steps that we can take to help lessen the effects of depression and anxiety. But ultimately, it is on you. As someone who struggles with and continues to struggle with my mental health as it pertains to my sport and the many other challenges that we all face as student athletes, I promise you the most important resource you have to achieving a healthy and balanced mind is you. You have to be able to speak up when you are not feeling well. You have to be able to ask a teammate if they are okay when you see those same signs of depression and anxiety. Coaches, you also have to be able to ask your players if they are okay when you see these same signs. There's no shame in speaking out for yourself. There's no shame in asking a teammate if they're okay. And there's no problem with a coach asking a player if they're all right. We have to be okay with this because these conversations could save a life. Thank you.